हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं आनंद फ्रॉम आनंद टेक्निकल सपोर्ट टुडे नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द 5G नेटवर्क आर्किटेक्चर्स ओवरऑल आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ 5G वुड नॉट लुक मच डिफरेंट फ्रॉम एल टी आर्किटेक्चर्स यू कैन सी सम डिफरेंट इन नेम ऑफ ईच नोड एंड इंटरफ्रेंस हेयर इन एल टी दे इज एम एम ई एंड सर्विंग गेट वे इन एल टी एम एम ई एंड सर्विंग गेट वे इट इज रिप्लेस्ड बाई द एम एफ एंड यू पी एफ हेयर यू कैन सी दिस इज एम एफ इन फाइव जी सो एक्चुअली इट इज रिप्लेस बाई दिस एम एम ई इट इज इन एल टी एंड सर्विंग गेट वे इट इज इन एल टी बट एम एम ई एंड सर्विंग गेट वे इज रिप्लेस बाई एम एफ एंड यू पी एफ लाइक सिमिलर इन एल टी दे इज इंटरफ्रेंस इज इंटरफेस बिटवीन इफ इंटरफेस बिटवीन ई नोड वी एंड ई नोड वी दैट इंटरफेस इज इंटरफेस इज एक्स टू एंड ई नोड वी एंड एम एम ई दिस इंटरफेस इज एस वन so this interface is also replaced by uh, in 5g it is replaced by xn and ng here you can see <coughs> uh this ue is uh, also interface and uh, connected with the m ue mf and uh, this ran actually this ran in lt it is e node b but in 5g it is called G node B, G node B. <clears throat> so you will uh, different name would uh, mean different protocol and implementations. Uh, you will find the detail about the, all the possible uh, split options. Uh, they just pack thirty eight point eight zero where you can see all the possible option. But it seems that uh, most common and uh, agreeable split line seems to be uh, shown here. uh if uh, g node b if talking about the ran here means an ran actually it is divided in two part it is central unit and distributed unit uh so it is uh, actually it is splitted uh, uh it is actually splitted uh, on the basis of uh, protocol layer in uh, central unit actually Uh, actually different uh, you will find the detail about all the possible uh, split option different split option is there but uh, in most cases we see uh, central unit this uh, central unit is uh, above the pdcp above the pdcp pdcp if uh, there is a protocol stack uh, RLC, MAC, FI, and if ever is PDCP, this. So this part is for the central unit, and below RLC, below RLC part is distributed unit. So this G node B is distributed in two part, central unit and distributed unit, and this central and distributed unit. is a uh, uh, a split on the basis of uh, different options so one option is uh, one option one criteria is above the pdcp layer and other distributed unit will be rlc mac and fi layer so like that it is distributed uh central unit it is a logical node uh, here central unit it is a logical node uh, uh, that include a g node b functions like transfer of user data mobility control radio access network sharing uh, session management this type of facility is involved in central unit and distributed unit uh, uh, the logical node uh, that include a subset of the g node b functions it uh, operations is controlled by the central unit 
so this type of facility is uh, uh, this facility uh, th th this is the facility of the central unit or distributor unit which is uh, uh, which is divided their work is divided and the central unit control the operation of du distributed unit over the front uh, hours that means it's one interface is there that means if uh, we are talking about the central unit central unit and uh, other devices uh, uh, distributed unit there is one interface this is f s interface is there uh, through the fs interface it communicate central unit and distributed unit communicate on this interface if we are talking about the mf uh, it is access and mobility management functions uh, it is actually a replace in lt it is called mme but in 5g it is called mf and its work is similar like NAS signaling NAS shifting and integrity protections mobility controls uh, layer NAS terminations session management NAS forwarding authentication the UE authenticate the UE manage the security context registration management connection management this type of the facility for the MF and uh, next is SMF uh, AMF and SMF is uh, interface is NG11 if uh, UE and MF is uh, interfaced by the NG1 and uh, UE and G node B yeah, RAN we it is interfaced by air interface uh, so if uh, we are talking about the SMF uh, this facility SMF uh, uh, SMF uh, actually it is a session management functions serving gateway control and PDN gateway control actually a two facility in uh, LT actually it is uh, combined both control and uh, data part was combined but in 5g control and uh, user plane part is uh, divided their work is divided smf is a session management functions and that are handled by the 4g mme uh, in lt now serving gateway control at pdn gateway control uh, actually it's allocate the ip address to ue smf allocate the ip address to ue NAS signaling for session management uh, send cost and policy information to RAN uh, via MF MF uh, that means uh, access and mobility management function through the MF uh, it uh, process the cost and policy information to uh, G node B downlink data notification also provide and select and control the UPF uh, UPF that is the uh, user uh, user plane functions so downlink data notification uh, it, pro it provide the downlink data notifications and uh, select and control the upf for the traffic routing uh, the upf selection function enable mobile edge computing by selecting the upf close to the edge of the network smf uh, determine how to policy and charging for the service applied so this is the facility of smf uh, session management functions uh, it, it is com it, it, it is mainly uh, basically it uh, uh, work is involved serving gateway control and pdn gateway control whatever this work was in uh, this work was in lt but now it is uh, divided in uh, different part different uh, smf is responsible for the control part serving gateway control and pdn gateway control uh, what were the facility in lt that now in 5g smf is responsible for these things in upf upf actually this is the uh, serving gateway this uh, upf is responsible for serving gateway user plane and uh, pdn gateway user plane in lt this facility was handled uh, uh, by differently it is handled by the serving gateway user plane and pdn gateway user plane but now upf in 5g upf will be responsible for these two things serving gateway plus pdn gateway user plane things packet routing and forwarding uh, upf is responsible for the packet routing and forwarding and uh, also for the packet inspections cost cost handling mobility anchoring for intra rat and inter rat handover 
maintain report traffic statics so these are the work for the upf in 5g uh, policy control function perform the same function as pcrf in 4g pcrf in 4g so whatever functionality uh, is done by the pcrf in lt now pcf will be responsible in 5g uh, provide the policy rule for control plane functions uh, these include network slicing roaming mobility management support the new 5g cost policy and charging control functions so these are the uh, functionality of the pcf and uh, after that uh, is uh, f f functions this is the application function application function in influence on traffic routing traffic routing on the basis of uh, 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 in interaction with the policy uh, policy framework for policy control so these are the responsible application function is possibly responsible for the traffic routing on depend upon the which type of policy uh, policy uh, framework is uh, designed uh, intact now <clears throat> after that udm udm is uh, unified data management uh, in uh, lt it was hss now it is replaced by the udm unified data management udm perform the part of 4g hss functions whatever hss function was uh, in lt now udm will be handle those things and uh, generation of authentication and key uh, generation of authentication and key agreement uh, agreement key authentication and uh, key agreement uh, facility will be handled by the udm user identifications access authorizations subscription management uh, these are the facility of udm if you are talking about the ausf the AUC, ausf perform the uh, authentication authentication functions authentication function of 4g hss and uh, implement the eap authentication server a stores key so these are the uh, nssf ausf authentication perform the authentication key function for 4 gss implement the eap authentication server so these are facility of ausf ssf this uh, model this node is not uh, given here in this diagram but this is the nssf uh, basically this nssf uh, uh, redact the traffic to network slice different network slice uh, network slice may be defined by the different uh, classes of subscriber so different slice a network uh, redirect the traffic to new, new network slice that means if any medical related any iot is there medical or yeah, library related iot the iot is there iot yeah uh, otherwise uh, any consumers uh, consumer slice like ps data is required for the ps Yes. so nssf redirect the call redirect the services for those uh, slice those network slice and uh, redirect to the serve the ue selecting the network slice and instance to serve the ue determining also determining the mf set to be used to serve the ue so for the serve the ue different uh, slice is there and different user is authenticate for that slice so nssf is responsible for those type of slices iot slices consumer slices so nssf is responsible for those things so this is the overview this is the uh, basic uh, uh, architectures of facility uh, architecture and facility of the 5g network uh, so thanks for watching this video if uh, uh, it is helpful then please subscribe this channel थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो तो फ्रेंड्स आज का वीडियो मैं यहीं पे समाप्त करता हूँ और थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो अगर आपको मेरा वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो प्लीज़ लाइक एंड कमेंट करें और अगर आप मेरे चैनल पर नए हैं तो प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब करें क्योंकि मैं हमेशा कुछ नए टॉपिक भी वीडियो लाता रहता हूँ और उसका नोटिफिकेशन आपको मिलता रहेगा सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग वीडियो